Welcome to a journey through the life of Josephine Baker, the woman who danced her way into the hearts of millions, challenged the norms of her time, and became a symbol of resistance and unity. Miss Josephine Baker. I want you to know that this is the happiest day of my entire life. Born into poverty, Baker grew up in St. Louis in a segregated society. Her early life was marked by hardship. By age 12, she had dropped out of school. At 13, she lived as a street child, sleeping in cardboard shelters, scavenging for food in garbage cans. In the early 1920s, Baker began her career as a chorus girl and later gained attention for her performances in the United States. Disillusioned by the racial discrimination in the U.S., Baker moved to Paris in 1925 at age 19, where she found greater acceptance and success. Baker gained fame in Paris for her performances at the Folies Bergère, where she became known for her provocative dances, including the famous, banana dance. She embraced an androgynous style, wearing a skirt made of bananas and little else, becoming a symbol of the jazz age. Baker's performance exuded a unique blend of energy, enthusiasm, and a dance style that deviated from the conventional, presenting the predominantly white audience with an unprecedented and unforgettable experience. She becomes amused to cubists and starts collecting lovers of both genders. Before we continue, please consider subscribing. Her legendary conquests. Baker's first marriage was to American Willie Wells when she was only 13 years old. The union was reportedly very unhappy, and the couple divorced soon after marrying. Another short-lived marriage followed in 1921, to William Howard Baker. Since her career was already taking off under that last name, she retained it after the divorce. As her famous song suggests, Josephine was bisexual and was known for having several relationships with women. Joining the French resistance and the civil rights movement. During World War II, Baker worked as a spy for the French resistance, using her celebrity status to gather information from high-ranking officials at social gatherings, including by hiding messages in sheet music. For her contributions, Baker received several medals and honors, including the Croix de Guerre. In the 1950s and 1960s, Baker returned to the U.S. and became involved in the civil rights movement. She refused to perform for segregated audiences and spoke out against racial injustice. In fact, Baker was the only official female speaker at the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, where Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his famous, I Have a Dream, speech. Adoption and Rainbow Tribe, Baker adopted 12 children from various ethnic backgrounds, forming what she called the Rainbow Tribe. She aimed to demonstrate that people of different races and religions could live together harmoniously. We'd love to hear from you now. What part of this video surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more content from us.